Well, Mondelez International is one of the uh, world's largest snacks companies. At Mondelez, we have around 100,000 employees around the world um, and participate in around 165 countries. Product innovation is critically important for, I think, all businesses, um, but certainly at Mondelez, it's key because it's um, one of the key ways to unlock growth. Uh, and as a snacking business, uh, as with with any other business really, growth's critically important to stay ahead of the, the competition. We know as a business we have the ingredients in people and brands and broad portfolio to be successful, but innovation really gives us another platform to genuinely grow the category. Really the approach we take uh, is to try and leverage the best of our global network for innovation, but also to take the best of local where we can as well. So probably the best example of that in recent times from a local perspective is um, the Jaffa block that we um, innovated last year. So we took uh, a range of um, Kiwi consumer insights um, to try and, and we did actually a social media campaign to understand what were Kiwis looking for. Um, we know they love to combine flavours together. And so bringing uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk and an old favourite with Jaffa together into one offering um, struck a real chord with consumers. Um, and that block ended up being the biggest um, block launch of the year last year and sold the most units compared to any other block, which was um, which was just a great reflection of the insight playing through into the offer and delivering a great result. So when it comes to Kiwis, uh, we're really clear that there's some unique differences in um, preferences and what consumer trends exist. Uh, and Kiwis are really open in telling us about that. So um, the combination of Kiwi favourites is clearly one insight that uh, that's worked, uh, that, that Kiwis have told us they want and we've been able to deliver on that. Um, the other um, piece of insight, which is interesting, was a global insight around premium chocolate. While we've always played for a long time in premium chocolate with um, Green and Blacks, for example, Kiwi consumers are saying they wanted to have um, a premium chocolate that was higher in cocoa content than some of um, the other offers in the marketplace um, and had sort of a really refined um, f- flavour profile, but a brand they knew and trusted. And so the cocoa launch um, recently was a great example of taking a, a global product but um, localising it by bringing it to the New Zealand marketplace. Clearly, ongoing innovation is going to be a massive focus for us. Uh, I can confirm we will be uh, bringing back the Jaffa block uh, for a second run, just due to its overwhelming popularity last year. Uh, We've just launched the Oreo block as well, uh, which is going really, really well. Uh, and actually driving sales of total chocolate because it brings people into the category, which is fantastic. But beyond that, I can't reveal a whole lot more except to say I get asked regularly about things like uh, Snifter and about things like Caramilk. So you never know. Uh, I can't confirm or deny. Mm-hmm.